How's it going? Motor City Miner here coming at you from the farm. Uh, got a new toy in the house. Uh, this is the Franken KS3L slash M from Coastal Crypto. So thanks, thank you Coastal Crypto for uh, selling this and letting me get it to my farm. Um, why is it a Franken KS3L slash M? Well, so it is originally an L. Um, whoever this was that was hosting it with um, Coastal Crypto put in or had them put in a KS3M control board. Um, that's pretty much all that's different, so nothing too crazy. Except I got this at a steep discount because one of the hash boards is not working. Um, so I guess that kind of makes it a Frankenstein. Um, so I have no idea... Uh, they have no idea what's wrong with it. I have no idea what's wrong with it. We got the original control board, the KS3L control board here. I'm glad they sent that. Um, and the KS3M control board's currently in it, apparently. I, again, knowing there's an issue with this machine, I'm going to open it up first. See if there's anything I noticed. Probably not. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be something that simple. Uh, but... Might as well open it up, see uh, what's in there. I also want to throw in the original control board just to see if um, maybe that's the issue. You know, put it essentially back to stock first, see if we can get it running all three hash boards at stock, and then uh, try the M upgrade to get that extra hash rate. Uh, so we're going to open this up and swap out control boards here. All right. So we got uh, the top open here. Uh, still got a lot more to open, but um, it's mostly looking all right. Everything looks well seated. Um, I'm going to fully tear it down, though. Um, mine is taking the heat sinks off for now. Um, I did notice that uh, these controller wires for the PSU seem to have gotten pinched at one point. Um, and especially the yellow one, you can it's hard to tell. But it did go all the way through the plastic. I doubt that's the problem, but I might as well, while I'm here, you know, tape these up. I got some electrical tape, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, and then we'll continue opening this up, taking off the bus bars, uh, seeing, seeing if we see anything interesting or odd or out of place. Uh, so be right back. All right. So pretty much got this whole thing disassembled now, minus sliding the three hash boards out, but you know, got all the fan, the PC, PSU, everything. Uh, I'm going to clean everything up. Um, but yeah, so far nothing's really standing out as out of whack other than that one little pinch on a wire, but I doubt that's the issue. Um, especially since it's board specific. Um, so I'm going to take these out and inspect them and see if there's anything I notice. but even these look pretty clean just from here. So don't know what I'm getting into. All right. So I've taken out all three boards. This is the last one. And everything looks really good. Like, everything's really clean. Nothing's loose. Um, there's, like, a random sticker on one of the boards, like, misplaced. Uh, but, I again, doubt that was the issue. Uh, these are KS3L version 1 boards. So this is a real old one. I mean, the L was only short-lived anyway before they turned them into M's going forward. Um, but this is probably, like, first batcher, if I had to guess. Um... I guess I could probably find that out by looking up the serial number. It'll tell me when it was uh, shipped out. Um, but yeah, ev everything's checking out so far. So I'm going to start putting back together, make sure everything's tight. And then we'll uh, we'll put on the original KS3L bo uh, control board. See uh, see what we're seeing in the in the software. See if uh, that fixes it, and it's just with the M control board, or if it's always an issue. So. I'm going to put this back together and put it on the shelf to, uh, to boot it up. All right. I uh, got it all back together um, with the KS3L control board. So we're going to throw this on the shelf now uh, and see what happens, I guess. Um, I doubt anything I did fixed it, but, you know, always good to do a teardown and make sure everything's seated properly. I, before you really start troubleshooting because it might be something dumb. So uh, we're going to throw this on the shelf and get started troubleshooting. 
All right, I think we're ready to turn this guy on, see what happens. So far, so good. Uh, that's weird. One fan stopped. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, hmm. wonder if that's going on on the back side, too. Let's see. Now these are both uh, both going. It's really weird. It like spun up and then stopped. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go over to the computer and see if this if shows up. Um, we might have a bad fan though, so that's. Uh, going to prevent hashing anyway, but I'll at least see if it shows up on the computer. So it has shown up, um, like I found it in my router and was able to connect. It isn't being assigned a difficulty, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, I like how they put GIMP in here as the worker name. Um, Oddly, the fans are all saying they're operating, even though I know one isn't. Um, I'm going to guess it's this one that's 6200. I think it's aired out. Um, we are going to have to replace that because um, I don't want to this to overheat. But I'm going to input my mining stuff and see if we can at least get it to connect properly to the pool and then go from there. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we do have accepted shares. Um, so, I just moved where that fan was. I moved it to fan four. Um, in my experience with the ice rivers, if fan one or two are having issues of any type, the machine won't start. So by moving it to four, um, we're at least able to get started. This fan actually is running now. Um, for whatever, I think it's lost its like PWM ability, essentially. It's either off or all the way off. Um, so I think that's kind of what's going on with it and it's just airing out and I found this out, the fan one and two are paramount, um, on the ice rivers when I was doing my KS2 Frankenbeast with the fan spoofers. Cause if I put the fan spoofers in fan one or two, it refused to mine. But if I put them in three or four, it was okay. Um, don't really understand that at all. Uh, but we are getting accepted share, so that's good. Uh, we're going to see how we're doing hashing-wise. Like, again, I, one of these boards is supposedly not working. Um, I did put the KS3L control board on, so I don't know if that means it's going to get it to work or partially working. If I do look over on my other computer, you can see I brought it up here. Um... And it looks like control board, or board number one has a bunch of bad chips. Uh, it looks like four bad chips and probably a fifth one because this voltage is way out of whack. Um, I don't know what I just did there. Oops. Let's uh, go back by number. Yeah. There we go. Like, all these other ones are at 0 0.49, 0 0.48. This one's at 0.55. So this one's probably on the verge of failure, too. Um, but it's the other boards, so I'm guessing that's the board that's the issue because the other boards, everything's checking out pretty fine. Um, nothing too crazy on these other boards, a couple hot chips, but you know, uh, that's to be expected since I haven't repasted this and it is an older unit. Um, so I think we're going to be keeping an eye on board one. It probably is our problem board. Um. We're going to see if it outputs hash rate, though, once we get our first update in this GUI here. You know, if it says board one is, in fact, mining. Um, but until that time, we're just going to have to wait, I think. So, um, I guess we'll see. We are still getting accepted shares, though, so that's good. Um, and I assume it's mining because temperature-wise, it would make sense that it's mining because it's in line with the others. But again, 
I, I don't really understand what the issue was or is. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of let this sit for a moment um, and see if we do get up in mining. If we do get up in mining, again, I'm still troubleshooting. It looks like there's some bad ships, but I think I'll swap back to the KS3M control board uh, to isolate the issue and see if, if the control board itself is an issue or or, or what. I, again, I don't really know. It's, it, this was not my unit. Um, so we'll see here in a moment. And there's, there's the moment. It finally loaded. So we're at 5178 giga hash, which is honestly about right. Um, this is a K, uh, KS3L, which was a 5 tera hash model back when they had them. Um, so that's, that's good to see. Uh, looking down below. Okay, yeah, it does look like board one's giving us a lower hash rate uh, because we are missing four chips. Possibly five. Um, so, But so far it looks like on the KS3L control board we're at least able to mine on all, all three boards. So that's that's really good to see. Um, I'm going to let this run for 10 minutes just so we get an average here. See if it stays around this mark or not. And then we'll uh, try the KS3M control board in this guy. All right. Um... So it's been another five minutes, so we have gotten another checkpoint. So it's gone down a tiny bit, but there is going to be variation. But it's nice to see that it's still around that five tera hash mark where it should be. Um, looking at our 30 minute hash rate, though, uh, definitely starting to see a larger and larger discrepancy on that board. So before it was like off by 20, now we're off by, you know, whatever that is, 65 from another board, 70. Uh, this board's kind of in the middle. It, these are going to vary too, so it's hard to say, but so far, Hashboard 1 has consistently been underperforming the other two. Um, so definitely an issue. Like I said, I'm going to switch over to the KS3M control board now and see how that affects the machine, if at all, um, and its ability to mine. So uh, let me uh, get that done, and then we'll... Uh, bring it back up here on the computer. All right, uh, we're back. We got the KS3M control board on here. So we're gonna boot it up and find out what we're really in for it since apparently this is um, how it wasn't working at all. Um, but even if, I, if it only works in KS3L mode, I mean, for the steep discount I got since it's a malfunctioning unit, I'll take five tera hash. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what this thing can do. See if it does turn on with uh, the KS3L uh, M board in here. Uh, head over to well, the and just like that, we're at six terahash like a KS3M should be. So um, that doesn't mean it's perfect though. There's definitely some issues. You can see that we're already even after five minutes a big discrepancy between board one and the others. Again, is the one with bad chips. Um, and also, looking over at our re like our readouts over here, you can see that we are on fire, um, and we're getting errors all over the place, uh, negative temps. Like, uh, but you can see that these four bad chips are still bad. Um, but with the, so the KS three M over uh, board just ups your clock. So if you remember earlier in my video, these were 950, now they're 1050, 1050, 1150. Um, so it's really just applying overclocks. So I'm gonna move back to the KS3L control board for now, because this is just way too hot. My guess is whoever had this machine um, never repasted it. And then through a KS3M control board and a KS3L, to get the extra hash rate and without ever applying a uh, better thermal paste while doing that essentially has you know flogged this machine at high temperatures to the point that it's caused chips to fail or um, mishandle at that frequency 
So for now, I'm just going to move this back to a KS3L, make sure all these temps fall back in line. Um, I think there were only a couple chips that were like 92, 93, whereas now we have a bunch of over 100, and we have a bunch of air chips as well, as you can see here. So um, once we get this back into KS3L form, I'll run it overnight to see if it's stable in that form. And then honestly, I plan on using uh, PB Farmers overclocks anyway on this machine, so I might just leave the KS3L hash uh, control board in there and overclock it that way so I can be more successful with avoiding high temps here. I do need to repaste this though. It, Like I said, it clearly looks like it's been through some some rough times and needs some love. Um, and maybe maybe I'll uh, you know try repairing things. I, I'm not really sure. I just want to get this up and running stably first, and then we'll worry about you know what what I do down the line. Um, but at least at five terahash, you know I, I, that's pretty happy for the investment I made. So um, so yeah, I'm gonna go swap back out that control board, and then make sure everything's nice and stable afterward, and then be done for the day. It's getting late here at the farm, uh, so be right back after I do so, that. Uh, you can see we've been back on the KS3L version for about 15 minutes now. And, um, you know, being pretty steady above five tera hash, so really liking that. Um, and then on this side, everything's back to how it should be. A couple hot chips, again, this probably still needs to be repasted. Um, but at least it's mostly green and, and a few yellows now. Uh, minus the four chips that are completely dead. Um, and this one that's, again, probably failing because this doesn't make any sense um, from a voltage standpoint. But, you know, pretty much everything's kosher at this point. You know, one hot chip per board, maybe two. Yep, this one has two. But, you know, 92 isn't too bad. Again, I'm just going to run it in this KS3L version at 5 terahash for a little while. Uh, just make sure the unit runs fine like this. We'll repaste it. It, it. This unit just needs some love, to be honest. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about these dead chips. I know you can buy, like, individual chips and solder them. Um, but, honestly, for four chips, it's probably not worth my while. Um, but, yeah, so excited that, you know, got this for a really good price because it was having so many issues. So... Uh, excited that, you know, the board that was completely dead, I'm able to get it back up and operating. Uh, took a little bit of finagling, you know, some fan errors, and um, I did some firmware updates and whatnot. Um, but at least we got all three working, and yeah, excited that this worked out uh, so far. So that's all I got today on my KS3L. Um, so... Comment down below your thoughts, any ideas for repairing, maybe how I can get up to KS3M performance. Again, I can use PB Farmers. Um, I don't really need to use that 3M control board anymore. But I, I'll probably wait until I at least repaste to do that. So comment down below what you guys think. Like, subscribe, and that's all I got today on my new KS3L. Until next time.